Hi, my name is Jeffrey Liu. Today I'm going to discuss the five rotation buttons that are above the Home, Object, and Crop tab in Photoscape. Before I start, I'd like to say that Photoscape is a great freeware program for photo editing. I personally believe that it's better than uh, InfraView in a lot of ways, such as the function and the layout of the program. It allows you to easily manipulate the pictures you want to edit, I believe. Um, with that being said, let's get started. The first button we have here is the counterclockwise rotation button. As you can see, it rotates the picture counterclockwise. Pretty straightforward. The next button we have here is the clockwise button rotation tool. As you can see, it rotates the picture clockwise. And uh, the third button we have here is the mirror button, which mirrors the picture in a way so it looks like it's uh, reversed in a vertical position. And the fourth button we have here is the flip tool, which basically if you click the button, it flips the picture upside down. And if you flip it again, it brings it back to its original position. And the last button we have here is called the Rotate Aperture. If you click on it, it brings you to uh, a browser where you can scale the position of degrees of the picture you want to have it rotated. As you can see, if I bring it more to the right, it rotates it clockwise while it zooms into the picture. And if I bring it farther to the left, it uh, rotates it counterclockwise and zooms in as well. Um, yeah, just for argument's sake, I'm just going to bring it over to the right and just show you how it looks like when uh, I press OK. As you can see, uh, counterclock as you can see clockwise that it rotates and zooms in. And we click on the rotate arbitrary button again and click on the rotate tab. There's uh there's different overflow methods that you can manipulate the picture with. Um, as you can see, you can change the background color from the picture. Uh, you can warp it or wrap it, I should say, which is pretty interesting. Kind of disorients the picture and splits it in a way. If you go to repeat. You can see that the pictures or the picture is stretched out in dimensions from its original position. And if you click on mirror, you can see that it does an interesting effect to it as well. And that's basically it. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch my video and have a great day.